Good morning, how are you? So today I'm going to talk to you about um, quantum healing. 27 years ago I published this book, uh, Quantum Healing, Exploring the Frontiers of Mind-Body Medicine. And I republished it this last month uh, with 100 extra pages revised and updated and with an introduction by Rudy Tanzi. Uh, I added 100 extra pages because uh, of the science uh, of epigenetics and neuroplasticity that has emerged in the last uh, 27 years. So uh, I'll come back to this, but I want to explain a few things to you. What I mean by the quantum mechanical body, what I mean by quantum healing, and why I think that quantum healing ultimately is all healing, and why I think that the fundamental nature of reality is even beyond the quantum. So let's start with very simple things. There are two ways of knowing your body. One is uh, as we experience it right now, as you're experiencing it, you know, by looking and touching, and tasting and smelling, and uh, by listening to my voice. This is the way we know uh, other bodies. This is the way we know uh, the material universe. How? By touching, tasting, smelling, hearing, uh, and uh, seeing. Now, of course, we do not know the fundamental basis of how this perception occurs because in our brains all that happens is electrochemical reactions um, that correspond to every experience. So whether you're experiencing a mental event such as imagining a beautiful sunset on the ocean or whether you're seeing a physical object like that uh, statue of the elephant behind my back uh, all that happens in your brain is electrochemistry. But you actually experience color and form and taste and smell and a three-dimensional universe evolving in time. Nobody knows how that happens. It's called the hard problem of consciousness. Nevertheless, one way of the experiencing the body is as a physical entity. This is solid. It's made up of flesh, uh, which is muscle, it's made of bone, it's made of skin, hair, sinews, tendons. You see there's a nose, eyes, ears, etc. So this is the physical body. But when you start to look at what this is made of, it becomes obvious that your physical body, uh, whether it's uh, um, muscle or bone, or sinew or fat is made of chemicals, biochemicals. And these chemicals uh, are mostly carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and a few others that come from stars and galaxies. What are these molecules made up of? They're made up of atoms. What are the atoms made of? They're made of particles. Now, it's the same atoms everywhere, same atoms the atoms of the periodic table, and it's the same particles, electrons, protons, neutrons, and then now we know gluons and quarks and so on. Doesn't matter, um, but they're smaller and smaller things. So big things are made of little things, and little things are made of even littler things. And then when you get to the most fundamental level, these particles turn into waves. And waves are not made of things, they are made of probabilities. And where are they coming from? They are coming from a dimensionless, infinite, formless void. So everything in the universe ultimately is made out of nothing. The great Sufi poet uh, Rumi said, we come spinning out of nothingness, scattering stars like dust. Look at these worlds, spinning out of nothingness, this is you. Okay, so fundamental reality therefore is formless and dimensionless. 
and we can say it's the fundamental nature of being anything that exists anything including this book including this phone including your body etc okay so when we look at the world objectively we end up with nothing but we can also close our eyes and we can experience our body as just sensations, intermittent sensations. They're happening somewhere amorphously here and there. I can touch it and I can see it subjectively and I can feel it. So there's another way of experiencing the body, which is subjectively, which is sensations, images, feelings, thoughts. And where am I experiencing them? In my being, in my being. And where is that being? Well, it doesn't have a location. It doesn't even exist in time. It is the formless void. So whether we look at the world objectively or whether we look at the world subjectively, our essential nature is that we are formless beings. And the essential nature of the universe, including our body, is that it's formless. This is what I meant when I wrote the book Quantum Healing, that the formless being of the individual is what we call soul spirit, and the formless being of the cosmos is what we call consciousness or cosmic consciousness. But the ultimate ground of all experience is the same. So you and I are part of a formless cosmic being that has taken this name and this form. And how that formless being resonates is the image that we experience as the body and the universe. And what is quantum healing? It is learning to shift your consciousness so you can shift your biology. I know this was very controversial when I wrote the book and it uh, created a lot of criticism. But now, uh, as I said, 27 years later, we're seeing very clearly that states of consciousness determine states of biology. Anger, hostility, guilt, shame, mistrust, jealousy have their own biology, as do love, compassion, joy, equanimity, empathy. They have a different biology. But what I mean by quantum healing is even beyond that, you know, when we go beyond all these states of consciousness and we end up with pure consciousness, well, that's the field of infinite possibilities, infinite creativity, infinite correlation. That's the field that's imbued with intention and we ground ourselves in that being all happens spontaneously. There's no resistance, there's no anticipation. In every moment, there is spontaneous creativity, spontaneous intelligence flowing out through body, mind, and universe. And in that moment, you are supported by infinite energy, infinite power, infinite uh, creativity, and uh, you are actually one with cosmic being. The word healing comes from the word whole. So all healing is the return of the memory of wholeness. And what is that wholeness? It's the cosmic consciousness of which the whole universe is a manifestation, including our own subtle body, which is our mind, intellect, and ego, and our own physical body, which is the body of energy, information, and matter. This is a very brief summary but as I said, I've had to revise this book because uh, uh, there's a lot of information and I've had to, had, had, have had to add 100 extra pages validating what I said uh, 27 years ago. Whether you read the book or not is not really important because um, I will continue to explain the deeper layers of reality in these sessions. Meanwhile, I hope you're getting ready for the holidays and ready for great celebration. I may take a couple of days off also from these posts. Thank you and God bless. Cheers.